Hi guys, my name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the first half of May reading for you all. May 1st through the 15th reading for Pisces. How are you all today? I am doing great. I hope you guys are too. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. Mm, this one. I'm going to try out some new oracle cards today. Hope you guys like them. One of them is called Angel Therapy, and one of them is called Angel Answers. me a minute y'all please be patient gotta wait for them to pop out I think I want this one all right let's see what we got Prince of Wands Ace of Wands, the Tower, don't panic, it's a good thing usually, the High Priestess, the Three of Pentacles, and the Magician. You're clarifying the King of Wands. Eight of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Let me get these first. Books. Your life purpose involves writing, reading, editing, or selling spiritually based books. Hmm. Some of you guys into books? Release. Work with Archangel Michael to let go of what no longer serves you or your purpose. Maybe that's where this tower's coming in. Ask your angels. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to flip this one too. Wait. Hmm. Put it this way. guys can see those. Give me just a minute, okay? All right, you all. When I get the tower, the weight, and ask your angels and release, it makes me feel like that there's something that might be going on in your life that you need to release, let go of, move on from, either a situation, a person, a job, something. Sometimes it's, it's one of those things that once you release any kind of negative situations, whether they be people or whatever the case, then better, bigger and better things come in for you. And that's how I'm feeling. And maybe that's where this wait comes in. Wait just a minute is basically what it's saying. Just for a second, the timing is not right. So possibly, you've got to release something. You've got to have this tower moment. You've got to wait for just a second. 
And then once that happens, as you can see, everything else falls into place. Because you have, you know, you have the Prince and the King of Wands right here, which stands for fire, passion, energy, um, intelligence. So I'm not, I'm not sure in your circumstance if it's going for people, male or females, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, if you're dealing with people, or if you um, have this energy, this fire, and this um, I want to go forward energy. He can also stand for a message, you all. But especially when I get the king over here and you're clarifying, it makes me feel like that this is um, a person you might be dealing with. A person that might be sending you a message. You might be dealing with them long distance or communicating long distance or even traveling long distance. Therefore, it could be a romantic partner. But it might not be. I'm not saying that for sure. And then it makes me feel like with this Two of Pentacles that you're going to have choices. You're going to have um, options. And they're going to be good options. They're going to be something for you to think about. Something for you to um, ponder upon. <laughs> so when I see this weight, this tower, and this release, if there is anything that you need to release and move on from, and, or um, sometimes this is just an epiphany, you guys. Sometimes this tower card is just saying, you just need a minute. To clear your thoughts, to find the truth, let that sink in for a minute so you can move forward like a stepping stone. Because as you can see, you've got the magician, you've got the ace of wands, the three of pentacles, the high priestess. I really do believe that some of you guys are wanting a new career. You might be wanting to bring your um, this, an opportunity. Hold on, let me phrase this the right way. You might have an opportunity that you might want to look into, grow, do something from home. Because when I get this Three of Pentacles, that's how I feel. I feel like that this is something that you enjoy doing. So some kind of a craft, some kind of a book, possibly. Especially with the books over there, right? You might be learning something new. And then when I get this High Priestess over here, for heaven's sakes, you guys are uh, a water sign. And water signs are the most intuitive signs um, that there is. And when I say intuitive, I mean your gut and your instincts and your inner guidance is leading you the right way, is telling you the things to do, giving you ideas, um, dreams, and etc. I mean, you guys already know that. But then when you get the high priestess on top of it, it's almost like that you're, uh, it's going to be even sharper. It's going to be even stronger. Your gut does not steer you the wrong way. Sometimes this means you could be getting some kind of a download as far as um, information that you might need to continue. Possibly a download from with this tower and this release. But it's not like you have to wait for too long. So don't get discouraged, please. This is just like, wait just a minute. Release what you need to release, that situation or that person or that job or whatever it is. Let this tower come in. Go with your gut and your instincts and your intuition. Because this might be your opportunity 
to do something for yourself, to do something on your own, to do something from home, to learn something new, something that you're interested in and you want to get more uh, information on it, you want to learn it, you want to master it, you want to grow it, and like I said before, it could possibly be because of books, or maybe you're studying books or getting information from books to get better at something, or the internet. You may be writing books too. I mean, that's could be very true. Because I have this magician here too, see? When I get the magician, this is this is you guys thinking and focusing and manifesting and making something come to life. This is you guys actually saying, you know what, let's just say, you want this new business for yourself. And you start thinking, okay. And in your mind, you might even have a board of some sort making yourself aware of the, the obstacles that you need to get through and, and the end goal that you want to look at. And you start focusing on it and you start pushing yourself and you believe in yourself. And the next thing you know, those things start coming to life. Because you, you make them come to life. So I feel like that there's this tower is just a stepping stone. And like I said before, it could be something, a truth coming out of some sort. It could be um, an idea just like that. It could be you saying, you know what, I ain't going to do that no more. Or I'm going to change that up. It could be a job. It could be a relationship. I mean, it can go in many different directions. But sometimes it's just you. Sometimes it's just the way you're thinking. And maybe with this release and this wait just a minute, it's telling you that the timing is not quite right with this new opportunity, but it will be in just a second. I think it will be before the middle of May. I think you're going to have opportunities over here with your clarifying. And I think it could possibly be from a fire sign. And if they're not a fire sign, they have this energy or you have this energy, this fire and this determination and this passion that you're wanting to do something for yourself, especially with this Ace of Wands right here. This is a new beginning. So it's like almost that when the tower comes in, the Ace of Wands pops up. This new opportunity pops up. Your gut and your instincts are going to be sharper. The magician pops up saying you're going to start manifesting and believing in yourself and pushing yourself forward. And that's what you'll, you'll do. That's what you'll do if you want the things that you're wanting. This new opportunity. Because honestly, you all, this Ace of Wands is beautiful. It can stand for almost anything. It, it definitely stands for creativity. It stands for um, birth of a baby, new homes, new jobs, new businesses, new opportunities in general, new beginnings in any way that you see it. This could be either a child of yours, male or female. Could be someone that's in your immediate circle. Or it could be a message coming in for some of you and that may have sparked this tower and this release and this weight. But now the good news is, with this Ask Your Angels, they say, if you want help, you need to ask your angels for help, for guidance, for um, ideas. Because they can't help you unless you ask. You have free will. So if you need help, if you want help, if you want the, the right direction or the right um, idea or the right opportunity, the timing, whatever it is, ask your angels. They'll help you. 
because I think you're going to have an opportunity over here, whether it be that new job, that new home, that new location. And with this High Priestess too, these could come in dreams. She can also stand for dreams. Your dreams may be telling you something. You know, that's a lot of times that's how we see things or feel things is through our dreams. You wake up the next morning and say, wow, that's what I need to do. Or that's the idea I've been waiting for. That's the location. That's the job. That's whatever it is. Give me just a minute, okay? I'm going to rearrange. I almost feel like for some of you this is going to be a person, but for some of you this is a message. could be dealing with that fire sign and you, that could be what your um, the tower moment comes in and that's who you need to release something from. For some of you it could be a child of yours maybe driving you crazy a little bit. But for some of you it's a message coming in that might cause this tower just some kind of a truth or some kind of a uh, information that might start leading you to a different way. So I get this Prince of Wands, Wands are Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If this is not a child or someone in your circle, immediate circle, it could be a message coming in. It could be someone that you're going to have to release or um, go in a different direction with if it is a child, let's say, or a friend or a family member. Male or female. Because I do think that there's going to be a tower moment. Now this tower moment could be something abrupt, but it might not be. So I don't want you thinking about it like that. But it's always one of those things that the universe brings in so you guys can switch courses somehow and go on the right course. So don't panic over the tower. It's actually like a blessing. Remember that. And then when you get this High Priestess, you guys are going to feel a little bit uh, more powerful, really. You're going to feel stronger. You're going to feel more in touch with yourself, with your inner self, with your inner guide, with your spirit guide. Whatever your gut and your instincts and your mind tells you to do, you're going to do. And if it tells you not to do it, you, you won't do it. Not that I'm telling you what to do. I'm just telling you that's how strong it's going to be. If you're waiting for an answer or an idea or a, uh, some kind of a way to go, you might be getting it through your dreams. Sometimes passed on loved ones come through your dreams too and give you information. But with this Three of Pentacles right here and this books right here, this books is talking about spiritually based, whether you're reading, writing, editing, um, studying, spiritually based books but it, you know some of you guys might be into the spiritually based information but some of you guys are doing something completely different but with this three of pentacles it makes me feel like you're interested in something you're good at something and you want to keep getting better at it you want to keep digging and getting more information and it could possibly be an opportunity that you could do for yourself from home something you enjoy doing and that gets me excited with this ace and this magician right here. And then when I get these over here, I almost feel like somebody might be offering you a position of some sort. When I get this king of wands, wands are fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you might be dealing with a fire sign, male or female. This could be a mother-father figure as well, or a boss or something to that extent. 
but this could also be your energy, your fire, your passion, your determination. You want to move forward and you want to do something fantastic with your life. You're wanting the finer things. And then I get this Eight of Wands, which tells me you might be communicating with this person or this person might be sending you a message in the near future if they haven't already. Could be a business partner, could be a romantic partner, could be someone wanting you to work for them or give you ideas or help you with this new um, business opportunity possibly. And then with this Two of Pentacles, I just feel in my bones, you guys, some of you all anyway, might be having two different uh, job opportunities or um, work from home opportunities maybe. Two different locations you could move to or two different homes, especially with this Ace of Wands, you could be moving homes. So you're happy with these, these two options. You're happy with them. And then I get this magician saying that you guys are going to start focusing and, and making things happen for yourself in a, in a really good, positive way. Because whatever you guys do and push yourself forward with, that's what starts coming to life. You have any and all of these instruments to use at your disposal. And then I get this Ace of Wands, you all. This is a new chapter and a new beginning, and that's exactly what this Ace of Wands means. New beginnings in so many different ways. Babies, homes, creativity, businesses, jobs, anything that you're wanting. Anything that you're fiery and passionate about can come to life right now. So remember that. Not that I have to tell you guys that. You already know that. But with this intuition and this new energized feeling that you're going to have, you're going to know what to do and how to do it. But you have to release, just like this tower, with this tower. That's I think through the same thing. Release something that's not good for you. Work with Archangel Michael to let go of what no longer serves you or your purpose. Which I believe is this right here. Ask your angels, just like this card says. When I get these two cards, I already told you, I already went over them. you got to wait for the right timing, and I think the timing is about ready to be here. I think it's going to be like the second week in May. It's going to be a little different for everybody. I can't say that for sure for everybody. But you guys will know after this tower and after this release, you'll know that your timing is right. This is just saying, wait just a minute. You don't have to wait too long. Just wait just a minute. You've got to get rid of this first. Okay? But always ask your angels to help you. Give you that right information. And they will. All right, Pisces, this is a really good reading. I hope to goodness you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. This is your first half of May reading, May 1st through the 15th reading for Pisces. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and a good luck with this new opportunity, you all. I will see you guys uh, soon. Take care. Bye.